Welcome back to Let's Play Max Payne 2. Mona, Castling Insurance Company's construction site. I'm on my way. Just make sure you come in a hurry. I might need some help. Okay, so I saw a sawn off shotgun. Take it to the top floor. Yeah, with the rest of the evidence. Hey, careful with those red boxes, you'll blow us all up. I'll get the stuff from the van and meet you there. Hey, what the fuck? Oh. I thought of Vlad's Trojan horse. I'd gotten into the cleaner's hideout in the back of their van. They'd give me directions to the evidence on the top floor. Not only that, but it seems they also have explosives. So we will have to be extra careful, you guys. Oh yeah, and remember, remember that guy in um, Address Unknown? He said that uh, the guys wearing white suits were following him in uh, vans with the Flamingo logo on them. Black vans. We are kind of in the same situation here. Let's see if we can ambush these guys. Okay, here we go. Good. Let's not get into the fire. Oh man, and again I'm running low on painkillers. This is going to be the theme of this this entire let's play. The dangerous red boxes the cleaners had talked about were containers filled with explosives. Yeah. Locked. Let's check out this place. Everyone's dead except for them. We screwed up, so we're dead too. Boss is gonna kill us. Bullshit. Who's he to talk? He went up against her himself, and look how that ended up. That's just it. At least he has wounds to prove he tried. What do we got? Not a scratch between us. It's gonna look bad, like we chickened out. So it counts for nothing that we are the only ones who survived? Hey, I can shoot you in the arm if that's what you want. Max, I'm at the site. Where are you? A condemned building at the edge of the site, headed upstairs. I'm at the wrong end. I'll try to get to the roof to get a view of the place. Later, I'm kinda in the middle of something. Let's get out of here. Nah, actually, we don't want to get out of here. We want to crack this case. And uh, then we will have a crack at Mona. There, I've said it. That's exactly what we're going to do. But first, well, we have to get out of this place or find the evidence, try to avoid blowing up, and... Oh. There's no one in here. Well, this looks suspicious, so... Let's enjoy the explosions in bullet time. Okay, this was uh, not so uh, interesting or not as uh, beautiful as uh, it could have been, but let's keep pressing forward. Hmm. Oh. Very nice. Somebody just dropped a gun down the uh, elevator shaft. Run, 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 run! <gasps> oh no. I saw another guy over here. Oh man. Oh man. These guys are just blowing themselves up. Okay. Well, that grenade that they dropped somewhere over here. Yeah, over here. That could have done some some serious damage to us. 
I mean, just look at our health. But then again, look at their health. <laughs> ah. Painkiller is the apple of my eye. I would have been really sad if there weren't any painkillers in this small building. Guard, guard tower, guard watchtower. A tower. Hmm. I don't trust this place. Not one bit. But then again, there are a lot of places I don't trust. And people, too. Oh. He tells me I'm new to the job. I'm working with all the colors except green. What the hell is that supposed to be? Hey, here goes! Coward! Fire in the hole! <laughs> yeah. Like, that's gonna hurt us. Well? Oh, man. <laughs> I just love this. Setting them aflame. Ah. And Molotov cocktails. This is a beautiful room. I trust this room. See, this is what I'm talking about. Well, that's it, guys. It's official. We made the news. <laughs> I don't even know if, if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Let's see. Maybe maybe there's an episode of Captain Baseball Bat Boy. Ooh. Oh, oh, yes. oh. It's time to turn that off. Mm. <laughs> Otherwise, Max will, will get to... Mm. Yeah, Max might get too fond of... ...of Mona. Oh man, these guys. I have to look out at the other door too, because... These guys just love to ambush us. Okay, so hopefully no one came around. Okay, we are good. Oh, this is just asking for a grenade. Or just a bullet. Let's get out of here. Okay. Oh, sniper rifle. And painkillers and some ammo. This is good. This is very good. Move out of the way, boxes. Let's see if we can get in here. No, it's locked. Mm. Cover me. Headshot. Mm. 
Okay. Uh oh. Oh, had some bullets flying right past our ear. And a bit of shrapnel actually landed on our forehead. Oh, I see one. Dropping a grenade like that. And then dropping on the floor. Okay. No trespassing, but I want to trespass. Fudge! <laughs> oh, this is not a good time to reload, Max. Oh man, you guys gotta stop scaring me like that. I mean, look at this. They completely messed up my health. No, you're not going anywhere, buddy. Okay, quick save. And I understand this is an over our dead bodies kind of situation. We've got an intruder, probably more than one. None of them's getting past this point alive. Well, we'll just see about that now, won't we? Oh. It's time to bring the pain. <laughs> Excellent. Did they just throw a grenade and I just walked across the room until it blew up? <laughs> that was sweet. Uh, this is the reason why we couldn't get in from these two doors. I mean, this double door. But anyway, let's check out this room. Hmm. Vlad had said Gugnitty was eliminating the competition. Was that why the cleaners had hit Vlad's gun workshop? The room was full of illegal firearms, enough to outfit an army. Mona, these guys are packing, close to overkill, hardcore professionals. It doesn't seem that way from where I'm standing. What's that supposed to mean? Yeah, where are you standing, Mona? Answer me! Everything looks quiet, which is good. Closed, I mean locked. Mm, explosives aplenty. Mm. Let's try this door. Mm. Okay, so this seems like our only option. I heard somebody. This is strange. I heard someone. that elevator was there stuck like that well <laughs> fudge sickles
Oh no! Actually, I think we could go from uh, this side. Hey man. Okay, you guys. I mean, you... Yeah. That guy was just... Ooh, those guys. I don't know, Max, but he was a goner. The moment he stepped next to that barrel. Actually, we are running low of, on bullets. So, let's switch to the Desert Eagles. And... I heard somebody. Fudge. I don't know who it was there, but I'm not sticking around to find out. Especially not with this amount of health. The cleaners had shed their skins. This was their turf. No need for disguises anymore. I see. Keep trying to call the elevators. Get up. Okay. It's time to bring the pain. Where is he? They're gonna come out eventually, right? I mean, walking in there would be a big 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 mistake which is why we're going to do it Coward. oh boy Keep your eyes open. fudge oh man I thought I was such a goner there when Max reloaded. Oh man, oh man, oh man. If there ever was a time to quick save, this is it. Okay. So far, so good. Body bags. This must be the evidence. Like always, the dead had all the answers I was missing. It wasn't that they weren't eager to talk. Quite the contrary. The dead had plenty to say. And once they started, they would never shut up. Their words would keep you awake at night. The bodies, all the evidence of all the murders the cleaners had done. All the answers. It would take days to dig through it. Mona, I know this sounds crazy, but I need you to go and call the cops. I need them here. You're right. You are crazy. I'm a fugitive, Max. I just escaped from custody. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't this. Go to hell, Max. Mona? Damn. 